Huh? Sorry, I didn't know I was programming a spaceship. What the hell is this? Hey everybody, Alexander Morgan here, and my friends call me Schmorgel. I'm pretty determined to systematically get through every single DAW so I can at least have some exposure to anything I can get my grubby little hands on. Without question, the one that people have wanted me to check out the most is Reaper. Unintentionally, very spooky. I have pretty much no experience with Reaper, like whatsoever. I might have seen an early version in like the early 2000s, but otherwise it's a complete mystery to me. I also spent a majority of my life assuming it was a part of the Adobe suite. Newsflash, it is not. That's Audition, which I've confused with Reaper multiple times. If you're a video or photo editor and you have the whole Adobe suite, Definitely try out Audition. Reaper is a digital audio workstation created by Kokos in 2006. Ah, uh, 2006. Such a good year, right? I don't know. What happened in 2006? It has a more popular fan base with Windows users, but it's also on Mac OS and on Linux. So if you have a computer, you could probably run this thing. It is known for being incredibly comprehensive and customizable. But other than that, I, as I said, know virtually nothing about this, so this is gonna be a mess. The main thing I'll be looking for, other than just trying to induce a little bit of chaos, is how functional and fluid the workflow feels. I'm really gonna be focusing in on first impressions and how it feels to sort of impulsively make a little bit of a song and or beat, whatever happens. We're gonna take a look at audio tracking, audio manipulation, MIDI, automation, and the plugins built in. You know, all the stuff you wanna see. So without further ado, let's reap the benefits of this DAW. <coughs> all right, so we are in front of a blank Reaper session. D don't know diddly squat about this program. It looks very open and welcoming. And by welcoming, I mean I have no idea what to do. We need to just take this slow like we usually do. Slow and dumb. Let's go ahead and try and insert some tracks. Bam, easy. Look at that, we're making music. This is music. How do I know if it's a, is it a MIDI track? Is it a, is it a audio track? Does it matter? Can it be both? Are we multi-purposing here? Uh, it's fairly like old school, I wanna say. Like it's very like uh, utilitarian is the correct word. Vocab word of the day. There's a lot of options in here actually. This seems like it is perhaps fairly customizable. I shall not be doing that today. How do I record? Record. I am recording my voice. This is a song. Hey, hey, this is a song. Cool. Can I change the output device? All right, that's my first, that's my first uh, demerit here is that right. in a lot of other draws, you can choose one input device versus an output device unless, oh, well, never mind. Screw me because there's literally a button right down here. All right, demerit revoked, gold star in place. So if I wanted to add sort of like a, uh, a MIDI instrument beneath that, how exactly would I do that? Interesting, is this automation? Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay, some more stars to give out. I like that you can sort of just click on all the automation you want just in one little place. That's pretty cool. I can hang with that. How do I make you... Whoa, hold on. Hello, menus. Track two. Uh, what? Um, oh, okay. So I clicked on the FX tab and I can... Oh, I can add plugins. Okay. Okay. So I can put on like this guy, right? Okay, there it is. So any track can be an audio or a MIDI track. Good to know. Oh boy, hello. Oh, wow. Oh, that's pretty cool. Again, I just keep stumbling on things. I don't mean to, but it looks like you can just sort of say, screw the UI and just go straight to like the bare. Again, very utilitarian. The keyboard though, why doesn't it work? What am I missing? <laughs> oh, that's interesting. It shows you, oh, what? I keep getting distracted. There's so many things to look at. Interesting. Okay, you could show the format and different things about your PC. That's fascinating. Anyway, Alex, just try and stay focused for a, a second. So why don't, why don't it want to read it? It just keeps, yeah, okay. Oh, oh, there it is. Okay, so you've got to do, it's not going to like do that manually, obviously. You got to tell it if it's going to be an input or if it's going to be a MIDI or what. But it is a track. A track's a track. And that's, that's a smorgle guarantee. A track's a track. Took only what? 
10 minutes to figure out how tracks work. So what if we put the audio down here on this? I am I recording my voice. voice. This, this is, is a song. song. Hey, hey, this is, is a song. song. Pretty good song so far. And we got a, uh, it's very spacey now, you know? Reminds me of like Mac DeMarco. These are all my instruments. I don't believe it comes with, let's do a little Google check, shall we? To the Google. Does Reaper come with plugins? Reaper comes with a variety of commonly used audio production effects. I see. Okay, but no actual like instruments. So maybe it's first to merit being that it doesn't come with any soft sense built in. Any good producer should have a few VSTs at the ready and you can get free ones of course, but I think if you're if this is gonna be your first software, it'd be nice if it had some stuff built in. It's nice that it has effects built in. So maybe we'll just try and use only their effects. So Reaper, yeah, Reaper is way more audio forward than it is plugin steeped. That's probably not the correct vocab word. Oh, there's a lot of things here. Oh boy. I guess I lost my sick vocals. Did I delete them? Oh well, we can redo it. We're we're talented enough to re-sing that magic. I do I don't like that I have to grab it from down here. This seems less intuitive to me than grabbing it from up here. That's a small gripe. Small gripe, but a gripe nonetheless. So this has our delay. Okay, let's use a little, we'll make it a little less wet. A horrible thing to say. I, I, Jesus, I do not love that metronome. I'm gonna be honest with you. Ah, good thing I could right click on it and change it. <laughs> All right, uh, pattern A, B, 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 that's fine. But how do I make it not suck? Oh, you could change its frequency. Fascinating. I feel like Reaper is the thing for like programmers, like the people who like want full, it's like it's like the Linux of, of DAWs is the vibe I'm getting. Instead of starting with silly singing, why don't we go ahead and start with some drums? We can use some of this Andrew Huang stuff. I, j j I wanna just go back a folder, please. Why? Again, this feels like I'm in the like the innards of a, of a computer program here. Let's find uh, some kicks. I like this Media Explorer. This is one of the most like, hey, this is a gosh darn Media Explorer that I've ever seen. It's not like in its own UI on the side and it's like easy snap bin. It's just like, it's like a freaking finder on your computer. Hi! Sure, dude. Let's do it. We're in Reaper. Let's make a Reaper-y song. I'm sure there's a bunch of commands that I don't know and people are yelling at me about. Whatever. It went away now. How do I copy you? Like that. Like every other dog. Oh, whoa. I didn't mean to do that. So I tried to copy it and instead it like, oh, it cycles through the sample. That's really cool. I like that a lot. That might be a thing in other programs, but I, I've never really discovered it until just this moment. Gold star. Oh, I brought up the undo history. I always do this in every program I ever use and don't know how I do it. Uh, how do I get a fade? Oh, uh, that's it. I just literally asked the question and it happened. Cool thing about Reaper, you just have to say you want something and it happens apparently. All right, so what if I want to, what if I want to copy this whole section? Can I just go D and duplicate? I can. That, that, that ain't bad. That was intuitive. Ah. Uh. Can I make subdivisions here? How do I show subdivisions? Insert, no, 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 no. Ruler layout. There's so many things to stare at with these menus. That is what I, my, I did say it's like Linux. I didn't say that I'm good at it. What I want to do is it for it to go, bah, so, <clears throat> sorry. Bam, bam, bam. The position, that's the thing I was holding with alt down and changing, I have a feeling. Like if I were to do that now, no, that's the start source. So never mind. Position means where it is in the in the session, obviously, Alex. There's a fade. So you can really, again, get down to the nitty gritty here and type in really exactly what you want. Um, for people who are interested in that, this that's a very cool opportunity. For me, I don't have the patience or precision to do any of this, but it's, it's good to know it's here. Interesting, I could change the panning of the sample itself in here, which is fascinating, right? I guess not. Doesn't seem to want, oh, I have to apply it. Interesting, okay. Oh, that's horrible. I can see this being pretty cool. If you're just like sample to sample, you wanna, you know, make little nuanced differences and changes, like little bloop, 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 ploopies everywhere. That could be really useful. How do I change your pitch though? Snap offset curve, time, item time base, item time base, item mix behavior. Pitch adjust, pitch adjust. Bum, bum. So that would be what? Sure, good enough for now. So you could do all kinds of things like stretch 
markers and the fade size. What the hell? There's a channel mode. So you can send the sample through a specific channel. You can invert the phase. This is wild. So let's go ahead and throw in like a hi-hat and maybe we can mess with some, some automation involved with that hi-hat. So in this, it's like you choose the literal tempo sync by the number here. The utility of these Reaper plugins is so like computer, like number savvy. Like there's no like UI mod of like be like, hey, go in thirds, go in fifths, go in, or like, you know, do it in, in 16ths or 24ths or whatever. Uh, getting overwhelmed. I need the help of my peers for the rest of this, I think, because there's there's a lot going on here. And I think having having the community yelling at me will only make this easier. So I threw in a sample that was in a different tempo and it's nice that it gives you the option. Like if you drag in something like from Splice, you can drag it down and it'll show you, hey, do you want to adjust this tempo? You can say, okay, and it'll change it from the original tempo. Here's what I, the BS I recorded. You can switch takes between the different MIDI rolls, which is pretty fascinating. I don't know what weird setting I have in here. You know, that's a bad take, but I can do this one. So there's all your takes right there. I like that. I think the MIDI roll itself is a little clunky, but it's pretty easy. You know, you can it still at least quantize everything and you can use the grid or do it manually. So that's all useful, but it was like, it, there's settings you can turn on and it's like hard to move stuff sometimes. Like you accidentally trigger velocity on accident or something. I'm doing the vocal take, here is a take two. Gonna see if it works, I'm gonna try it. Okay, it looks like it is very similar process. I'm doing the vocal take, here is take two. Gonna see if it I don't, I gotta be honest with you, I am not vibing with these JS plugins. I'm glad that they're there. It's nice that they're free, but we're gonna use our good old buddies because UI is important to me. I'm finding out now that UI is very important to me. Where's my compressor? All right, so let's hop into this automation. Whoa! What the f front door am I looking at? Sorry, huh? Sorry, I didn't know I was programming a spaceship. What the hell is this? Oh my goodness, my gracious damn. Wow, that's overwhelming. So this is all the parameters in FabFilter. We're gonna ignore that. Holy moly, that was just so disorienting. Parameter modulation. This is so much, guys. This is so much. <laughs> Arm all visible. Hide all, got it. Show all active, hide all. There's probably a shortcut for that. I'm sure there is. Okay, so we've seen what it's like to manipulate audio. We've seen what it's like to do automation clearly. We've seen what it's like to, to mess around in these MIDI channels here in the piano rack. You can copy and paste. You can cycle through the sample like that. I mean, it's not perfect, but it works. You know what? The truth is that I'm not perfect. Um, and I'm gonna take my non-perfection and dive in and see if I can try and actually make a fleshed out song here, uh, doing my best. I'll show you all that, what's happening under the hood there, and then I'll give you my final thoughts. All right, see you in a second. So as you can tell with my less than enthusiastic piece of music, I had some trouble getting into a flow with this program. Don't get me wrong, I totally see all the functionality here and certain things felt very good to do, such as just moving around my arrangement window. Also fine tuning exact pitches and tiny modulation, that can be a really satisfying process. That being said, there's just too much going on here. It was honestly a little overwhelming to just hop in and be creative off the bat. There is so 
much control happening here. Like too much control, one could argue. Just opening a simple menu reveals the complex underbelly of what is essentially a supercomputer. The UI design is super bare bones, but it kind of has to be with how much flexibility it's allowing you. All in all, it can just be a little bit unwelcoming. I think if you really know what you're doing inside of a DAW, this program can be a dreamlike opportunity. If you are seeking ultimate flexibility, Reaper is a no-brainer. But if we're talking about just pure spontaneous creativity, I personally found myself bumping up against one momentum killer after the other. Oh, I just want to tweak this one little thing. Oh, nope, there is a menu with a thousand different parameters. Oops, I'm scared now. I imagine with enough time and patience, this could easily be argued as one of the most powerful DAWs in the industry. But it's sort of sterile and open wide presentation leaves a very distractible smorgle sort of slack jawed and, and unsure where to go. And despite all this flexibility and opportunity, this DAW actually comes with very limited FX options. And one real bummer is that there's no built-in VST instruments to speak of. That might not be a problem for someone who's been collecting a bunch of soft synths over the years, but for anyone who just wants to jump into a DAW and start making music, you're not gonna have a lot of instruments to play with. In fact, none. So if that's the case, who is this DAW made for? Well, when I did some research and saw that it was built on Python, that actually clicked with me really quickly. This DAW is really made for a programmer, or at least someone with a programming type of mind. Literally every aspect can be tweaked to the decimal. So if you are that audiophile who knows exactly what you want out of your manipulation, this is the program for you. It offers everything and more. But for a distractible doof like me, barely got eight bars of music out. All right, so those of you who didn't want to watch this whole thing, too long, didn't watch. Here's the basics. Pros, it's a well-built DAW, really, really capable. Exceptionally flexible and open source, which makes it incredibly customizable. Every plugin I threw into it ran like a dream and my CPU stayed at a nice healthy level the whole time. And of course, it's very affordable. At its discounted price, it's 60 bucks. Pretty unbeatable. And some of the cons, as far as I'm concerned, it takes time to really fall into a groove with this program. There are almost too many options when opening menus. It's a tad clunky and awkward if you're used to more streamlined programs. And it just comes with very few plugins and add-ons. But enough of what I think about Reaper. What are your thoughts? Was Reaper your first DAW? Is Reaper now your favorite DAW? Am I entirely missing the point and I'm just a big, dumb, stupid butt? Let me know in the comments. If you wanna see more of this kind of content, it really helps if you leave a like and especially helps if you subscribe. Subscriptions are my lifeblood, so help me stay alive. And as always, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.